Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. This is a reaction to why American suburbs are so creepy. It's an interesting way to put it, but I mean, I guess we're going to see in this video what he has to say. My view of this, again, I'm not someone who's been to the US, but I do a lot of reactions, sort of seeing it, like seeing just how it looks, obviously in films and stuff you see it. And I mean, from what I've seen, it just, I sort of, when I think of like an American suburb, they seem too perfect. Obviously, they're wide. There's a lot of space. And I understand why the US is massive so people can have more space, which is a positive. But when you look at it, it just looks almost too perfect. Obviously, the suburbs will look different where you are. For example, you're in New York or California. Um, you're going to look and they're going to seem different. But like I saw a video the other day and the guy went to Savannah. And those, I assume there are suburbs that look like where people live. So I'm going to call them the suburbs of that city of Savannah. They looked beautiful, like the trees, the scenery, it looked stunning. So it does depend where you are. But when I'm like thinking off the top of my head of an American suburb, the homes are like perfect. The grass is so damn green. There's either sidewalks or the sidewalks are tiny, surrounded by grass. Obviously the front gardens, there's no gates in the front gardens because it's just how it is in the US. And the roads are wide. I'm thinking of maybe I'm more like a newly built one, but I just think of them as too perfect or maybe if they're older then it's just a lot more space maybe they're not as perfect looking but still the same sort of similarities bar the new new housing but um yeah we're going to check this out and see what this video has to say because this person does videos on this sort of stuff quite a lot so i think he's he's someone who studies this stuff if you can say that but yeah let's check this out links are also in the description to my patreon where you can see reactions that i can't post to youtube let's jump into this this video is sponsored by NordVPN. Ooh. Get a two-year plan at a discount plus four additional months for free by visiting nordvpn.com slash Design. Have you ever walked down a suburban street or an empty parking lot and thought, this place feels creepy? It's the uniformity, lack of diversity, and the endless maze of stairs. That is, I mean, again, if you're someone who lives, I wouldn't mind living here. But at the same time, it's, I mean, this isn't it's just very uniformed i don't even know what i can say about this because there's nowhere in the uk that really looks like this at all like these ones on the hills it's quite a nice little area there are streets it's no surprise that suburban horror is a popular genre seen in countless movies i've mentioned this film so many times uh, what's it called again sub not suburbia this vivarium yeah this film does remind me of like some us some us um streets in the suburbs and stuff but again, this is a, a very exaggerated look. This film is creepy as hell, though. Shows. But what's even more prevalent are images of suburbs being used as liminal spaces. Liminal spaces are Don't an in-between or transitional space between two places. Think of hallways, stairwells, or airports. These images have become very popular on the internet, depicting eerie abandoned places that evoke feelings of unease, nostalgia, and sadness. So is it not concerning that the places we live in are considered strange and creepy? Why does everything in America look like this? There's no good urban planning anymore. Like, I think it's like the silence of the suburbs that kind of scared me. Like, it's quiet. Us humans made sense of our environment through context. Playgrounds should have kids playing in it, malls should have people shopping, and parking lots should be full of cars. But when you take these environments away from their contents, it creates a strange and uncanny feeling. That something is missing. Picture a playground at night, an abandoned mall, or an empty parking lot. This is the essence of what makes these liminal space images feel so weird. The term for this is called canopsia, a place that's usually bustling with people, but is now abandoned and quiet. These images give off the feeling that humans have suddenly disappeared and we are peering into a post-apocalyptic world. But despite this, these places still appear neat and well-maintained. Who's mopping the floors? What's keeping the lights on? Suburbia is built like Here a city. You have this is what I think I've seen this street. I think he's shown this before in his videos. Like this, this looks nice. It does look nice. It's just it seems very perfect. I mean, maybe it would be a bit more green under the trees, you know. But other than that, it, it just, and it's just wide. It, it's not like an eerie look. This one's maybe a bit, like, bit, a bit nicer to see, but other ones maybe aren't as, like, sometimes the houses are more spread out and stuff like that. But this would just be, like, your, 
your average family or would this be like the upper class families in the US? I assume upper class, right? Because these homes look quite big. Houses, sidewalks, and streets, but where is everyone? Everything appears neat and organized despite being so desolate. It's the perfectly manicured lawns and the uniformity of the houses. Almost everyone is driving in cars because suburbia is designed exclusively for cars and nothing is at a human scale. It's the large signs used to catch drivers attention and the massive roads and parking lots made to accommodate all the traffic. And the architecture is bland and functional <laughs> oh, because God. if everyone's gonna drive past it, why bother making it look nice? This also means suburbia is devoid of people. Everything is too far and dangerous to walk anywhere because our streets are built like highways. They use wide, highway-sized lanes and the road itself is flat and straight, allowing drivers to drive at high speeds. These look a lot more like race tracks than a city street. So everything becomes a through fare rather than a destination. Everywhere becomes a place to drive through and not a place to drive to. But despite how car-centric it is, the concept of suburbia has nothing to do with cars. The definition of suburbs are literally just places on the outskirts of a city and they have existed for centuries. Suburbanites from the Roman Empire were definitely not driving around in their Ford F-150s. Even today, you find suburbs all over the world, and apart from North America and a few other English-speaking countries, this looks they're like vast. Romania. This looks like where my girlfriend's dad lives. Wait, is this where he lives? This looks so similar. This is definitely Eastern Europe. I mean, if it's not, then... I feel stupid. Vastly different. Even North American cities used to build watchable human. So this is, these are some like again. This isn't like Savannah, but Savannah, for example, the suburbs there looked beautiful. I feel like maybe the suburbs in the south of the U.S. are like maybe stand they maybe stand up more. Like they're a lot more like just homely, or maybe they they don't seem as too like as perfect like they don't have to have everything like the same it's like a mixture of things you got trees planted around the the streets might have a few cracks here and there you know it looks a bit more cultured a bit more weathered but then the ones that we've seen before they look again they must be new but they look just very perfect min scaled suburbs the reason we don't build suburbs like this anymore is because we made it illegal Zoning oh. laws dictate what kinds of buildings can be built and where. This place is zoned for stores, and this area is zoned for apartments. But on majority of our residential land, it's zoned exclusively for single-family homes and nothing else. This is why suburbia has the same repetitive cookie-cutter houses. This isn't just a US problem, though. I mean, the UK is doing the same. It's, they don't look the same, because like in the UK, houses have to be a lot closer. And it's just not possible to have this much space unless you're like on the outskirts of the city, maybe. But new homes that are built in the UK now are all very samey. They all have the same color. There's not really much grass in the UK, to be fair. Like, at least in the US, you've got a lot of grass, which it, again, which maybe adds to the sort of the eerie look because it looks so perfect. But that is a positive. Um, yeah, the UK has got the same problem, but I'd say it's probably even worse, if anything, because it doesn't look like this. It, like, it, it, like, it looks a lot worse in the UK. The homes are just... There's no... There's no... Again, there's no... Like, they just look too new. And they don't look nice, though. At least in the US, they look nice. It's just, again, like I said, it looks a bit too perfect. But Because it's literally illegal to build anything else. Then there's parking minimums. I already talked about this in a previous video, but essentially, these laws force every building to provide an excessive amount of parking. It's estimated that there are eight parking spaces for every car in America. Humans like to be spatially contained by walls because it makes us feel protected. So when you're standing in the middle of a giant Walmart parking lot, you feel exposed and uncomfortable. If that wasn't enough, many suburban neighborhoods have what's called homeowners associations, or HOAs, which are basically organizations that enforce rules on residents and their property. This usually prevents you from changing how your home looks, such as painting your front door a different color or installing a certain kind of fence. Sometimes, you can't even install solar panels because they would be, quote, too visible from wow. the street. Freedom, am I right? Damn. Because the design of suburbia is dictated by so many rules, everywhere starts to look the same. Can you guess where this footage was taken from? New Mexico. This is why people describe liminal space- I thought we were gonna find out. 
images as <coughs> oddly familiar and why people feel so nostalgic about them even if they've never actually been to where these pictures were taken. Because when everything everywhere looks the same, they all lack identity and a sense of place. Places lack a sense of place when they have no connection to where they're located. Think of gas stations, fast food chains, and department stores. These are non-places, places that could be anywhere but are simultaneously nowhere. Car-dependent infrastructure is incompatible with local small businesses. Large single-use buildings and parking lots are expensive and only corporations can afford them compared to smaller lots that are right up against the street. And because car-centric infrastructure makes everything spread out, it takes more time to drive to different stores and find parking. So it becomes more convenient to do all your shopping in one place. This results in the copy and paste town, a place that has nothing unique and only the same chain stores as the one next to it. Unsurprisingly, people make fun of this all the time. Here's a beautiful natural landscape, all it needs is a highway and a Walmart parking lot. Nature is rarely found in Liminal. I'm not gonna lie, this color looks good. I'm joking, let's just see this though. Oh, Jesus, man. Nature I is mean, if you had a city that had that scenery, that would be cool. But let's be real, we can't do that to our beautiful areas, man. Rarely found in liminal spaces because they have no contents. They just grow wherever they want, whenever they want. They're not unnatural. Cities, although man-made, are similar to nature. They have always formed and grown incrementally rather than orderly. As the saying goes, Rome wasn't built in a day and great cities weren't either. In the past, they started out as small villages beside a river or a train station. People had a tiny wooden shack and a dream. As time went by, more and more people moved into the village and incrementally built more onto it. Soon, those small crummy shacks became three-story brick buildings and that bumpy dirt road got paved with smooth asphalt. Modern suburbia, on the other hand, is built all at once to a finished state. One day, you have a piece of farmland and overnight, an entire neighborhood pops out of nowhere. Once it's built, zoning laws prevent it from changing and adapting. They're frozen in place. The best you can do is renovate your house, but when your city is going through a housing crisis, you can't simply build onto these places. I'm gonna be real though, if these homes were, like, these homes look beautiful. Like, they look nice. I mean, I don't know how common these sorts of homes would be and again would this just be your average family living here they look like nice homes i just guess a lot of them are now looking like this but again maybe i don't know how common this would be because i can't imagine everyone has these homes like all new homes now are being built like this but again maybe it is i don't know you have to sprawl further out and eat up more land suburbia tries to mimic rural living while having all the amenities of a city but in doing so, they can't financially sustain themselves. When everything is built at the scale of cars, everything from roads to utilities have to be stretched out while serving less people. As a result, suburbs all over the place are decaying because cities can't afford to repair sidewalks or potholes. And so we are left with these empty decaying lots, like abandoned malls. Meanwhile, a shiny new Walmart is built on the edge of the city. Wait, you got George in the US? I thought this was just in the UK. It's like a cheap glo clothing brand, right? That's a little shock to the system. It's an endless cycle of growth and decay. These problems are inherently political. Zoning laws need to be changed to allow a more variety of housing, and parking requirements need to be reformed so suburbs aren't full of concrete wastelands. Japan, for example, is known for their narrow and charming streets, which you might think is because Japanese people are just more kawaii than us. But it really has to do with their policies. Japan has parking minimums, but they're a lot lower and market-driven, making their parking lots much more reasonably sized. They also limit on-street parking and require car owners to prove they have an off-street parking spot. Streets look a whole lot better when you remove the cars. Yeah, Meanwhile, that is the thing. I know a lot of European cities have carless streets where it's just well, pedestrianized streets. Is that a thing anywhere in the US? Are there occasional streets now being built up or that have been there for a while that are only allowed for people to walk even in just major cities is that a thing or is that just not something you'll find ever because i'm sure you can find certain areas in the u.s where it's like that i guess Lu I'd, if i'd guess louisiana would be like that i'm picturing like the french style streets in louisiana and i feel like there's areas there that don't have roads so there must be cities throughout the u.s that have that as well but maybe it's just nowhere near as common
While the province of Ontario in Canada destroys about 300 acres of land every single day to build new tar dependent suburbs. And while Ontario may be big, only 5% of the land is usable farmland. This is why saying suburbs are close to nature is ironic. Suburbs are the reason why cities are not close to nature. Thankfully, Toronto recently allowed higher density housing to be built on single family residential land, which will hopefully put a plug on the infamous yellow belt. Until then, modern suburbia is simply not sustainable, and it's creepy too. What's also creepy are hackers. Oh, hack secure in the bag. Go on, lads. Get that money. I just want to search. So, my city that I live in. Um, let's just. I want to see how people, like, if people are still watching, how you would maybe compare it to where you live in the U.S. So this is like the main. Sh I live in quite a small city, like I've said a million times on the channel. In I live in quite a small city in my country, not tiny, but quite small. This is like the main shopping street. It's not great. But this is how it looked. I don't. Oh, I forgot when I'm uploading the the my Wi-Fi bugs out or doesn't work. This is from a long time ago, and this is way. This is a long time ago. This is probably like ten years ago. Why is it bugging out, man? I just want to see. So yeah, this is about. So these buildings aren't here anymore. They're now apartments. So this would be a, a good. 15 10 15 years ago um god damn it i wanted to search up but i can't if, if i'm uploading videos my wi-fi bugs out and it just i can't load stuff okay let's just see what my my streets used to look like then this shop's not here yeah these these are old pictures god damn it wait 2024 Let's see what it says now, because now it's not even much better, but I'm just trying to see how it can compare. Because there are, like, areas where you can walk. Like, it's just for walking. And even the main streets now, it's only for buses, taxis. Like, no people can drive through the city centre. Okay, it's not really working. Well, this plan didn't really work, but... <laughs> I can't really say anything now. I just wanted to compare. How about... Let me think of a street new houses uk i want you to see how like how the homes that are now built here all look here we go it's, it's like the us but just a much smaller scale and they're not as nice this is how it is like look how small these look for starters these do look tiny if you want it's not really loading i can't really show it that well but this is the style that's now being built in the UK. There we go. It's it's all like this. New houses, Cringleford. This is an area, like a new suburban area that's been built up the last probably 20 years or so. It's all just this. This housing. It's cheaper because it's on the outskirts. It's newer. So some people like it. But it's just all the same. So it's not just the US that has these problems. It's all homes now. Like all homes in the UK now that are built at this point in time like that but yeah so i couldn't really search it that well because again like i said four times when i'm uploading videos my wi-fi is that bad it takes up all the speed so i can't really load stuff but there we go this was a little look into american suburbs let me know your thoughts on this and until next time like subscribe and peace